Good morning, guys. Welcome to the video. So it is 8.55 in the morning. I've just been doing a little bit of work for Become Elite, having a little bit of coffee and just chilling. It's another day in quarantine, another exciting, fun-filled day of no interactions with people, <laughs> live apartment workouts and, and, and sessions here. Um, but again, I'll take you guys through it, show you my training session. Again, I'm gonna try to go out and find a place to train. I'm gonna do like a yoga session. If I'm really feeling it, I might even do a little bit of a workout, maybe a little bit core workout. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Just taking it day by day. <laughs> going crazy, just going a little bit crazy day by day, but it's okay. So welcome to the video. So we are currently driving around trying to find a place to train. I have a couple ideas in my head, like I've kind of already know where some parking lots and structures and, and parks are. Unfortunately, we can't go to where I went last time with that really cool um, three wall like park at all because that playground area is shut down. It's elementary school anyway, so it's completely shut down. Um, I even think the last time I trained there, it was I wasn't supposed to be training there. So I'm trying to find something that's legal to do and I have a few ideas, so just kind of driving around, trying to figure out the best place to train. Right now we're at like a, I don't know what to call it. It's like a park or like, it's it's private property. It's all private fields and stuff. There's like baseball fields, some football, soccer fields and stuff. I've seen a lot of kids train. I don't know if it's part of a high school or a club or something, um, but it's all private property. It's all closed, especially now. Um, honestly, there's, there are times where I'd probably hop the fence and train there, but during this time, I, I do want to respect everything, especially with the, the virus and everything. Um, so I'm going to just basically train in this empty parking lot because we're just sitting here, tons of space. So I'm gonna get a little tight space, technical session, like ball mastery session right over here. Um, it'll be something that you can do anywhere. I'm in a parking lot, I can do it in a garage, living room, bedroom, whatever. Uh, probably like 45 minutes. And it's all technical, tight space, drills like that. Okay, to start off this training session, I just wanted to warm up by doing a ton of different juggling variations. I started off with just the most basic, simple form of juggling, below knee, alternating juggles. I'm just trying to keep the ball below the knee, and I'm alternating between the right and left foot. So I did 100 of these juggles, and then I moved on to the next variation. The next variation I did was just single foot juggles. I'm trying to keep these below the knee. Again, very tiny, small juggles, small touches. So I'm just using the right foot, trying to balance on the left foot the entire time without hopping, just to, to work the stability as well. Do 50 of these juggles straight, move the ball over to the left foot, do 50 juggles straight with the left foot, move it back to the right foot, do another 50, and then back to the left foot to do the last 50. So in total, 200 juggles, switching back and forth between the right and the left foot at the 50 mark, just so my standing foot doesn't get too tired. The next style that I did was waist tight alternating juggles, so going back and alternating between the right and the left foot, but this time I'm using more of the laces and I'm kicking the ball a little bit higher up to around waist height, and I'm doing again 100 total juggles and then moving on to the next variation. Next juggling variation is just two touch juggling. Again, I'm trying to stay balanced on my plant foot the entire time without moving or without hopping. Just two touches, trying to go about waist height and going back and forth between each leg after the two touches. Again, 100 juggles and then I went on to the next variation.
The last juggling variation is waist height, single foot juggling. So again, I'm using the more of the laces to try to pop the ball up a little bit higher. And I'm just using the right foot to do 50 juggles. I then go to the left foot, do 50 juggles with the left foot, back to the right foot for another 50 juggles, and then back to the left foot for the last 50 juggles. And that was pretty much it for my juggling routine. Okay, so 700 juggles, good warm up. I mean, I'm not doing anything crazy, so I don't need to have like the most dynamic, crazy warm up. I'm not sprinting, I'm not hitting long balls. It's just all tight technical stuff. Um, now I'm gonna transition into more of like the ball mastery stuff. It's all gonna be tight movements, a lot of the sole, with, uh, a lot of the, sole of the foot, um, just patterns like that. Stuff you've probably seen, but um, I'm gonna try to do that for about like 30 minutes. It's gonna be high intensity. My calves are gonna be cramping up because this stuff is always tough, but uh, but yeah, just quick, sharp, and then done. That's like the aim whenever I do individual trainings. Okay, so first ball mastery drill is this Brazilian sole kind of rolls. Uh, as you can see, I have my phone down there. I start the stopwatch, and then at 15 seconds, I start doing this, which is Brazilian sole flicks between both feet. Uh, if I mess up, I just keep going. It's just trying to move the ball back and forth, side to side, while using the soles of both feet. After 15 seconds of that, I immediately transition to this, which is just Brazilian sole rolls with one foot, just using the right foot, going back and forth as fast as possible while I'm bouncing on my left foot. I'm really trying to exaggerate that motion going left and right and, and as quick and as fast as possible after 15 seconds of that I moved to 15 seconds of the same exact drill but just with the left foot again same thing going as fast as possible back and forth back and forth so in total 15 seconds of rest 45 seconds of these Brazilian soul roll variations and that's the first drill Woo. The second ball mastery drill is actually set up a lot like the first drill. I have the stopwatch going and after 15 seconds of just resting, I do 15 seconds of V-taps with both feet. So you guys can pick up the pattern pretty quick as you can see, but I'm just using both feet to go through this pattern of doing a V-tap formation. After 15 seconds of doing this, I switch to 15 seconds of the V-taps with just the right foot. So now I'm bouncing on the left and just using the inside and outside of my foot to tap the ball in this V formation. And then after 15 seconds of this, I switch to the left foot and do the exact same thing. Trying to keep it clean, trying to keep it sharp, but also going as fast as possible. And after 15 seconds of that, I'm done with the set. I rest and I restart. I was just messing around doing my rest time, dribbling the ball, passing it, juggling, doing whatever. And I was over here and I just kicked the ball against the stump, this tree. Look at that. Look how good that returns it. You're not gonna find a rebounder that gives it that good of a ball. It's honestly, that's like one of the best rebounders I've ever found. Like better than the skills one, better than everything that bounces the ball up. Even against the cement wall sometimes, even if you hit it great, it's still gonna pop it up. The log, I'm gonna start a company just selling logs. So after I'm done doing some of the ball mastery drills, I'll finish with some wall passing, some, some wall drills or some, I should call them some log drills. <laughs> The last drill is probably my favorite drill of all time. You guys have probably seen me do this countless times throughout the years, but this is the Ronaldinho drill. Just put down all the cones you have in a blob of space randomly, and then you're just gonna dribble through as fast as you can using whatever parts of the foot you want as creatively as possible with no distinct pattern at all. Just dribble through around wherever you wanna go using any part of the foot and just try to be fluid, fast, sharp, and try not to hit any cones. If you do hit a cone, it's no big deal. I want you to push yourself, I want you to go fast, but try to do it sharp and try to avoid the cones at all, at all costs. So 45 seconds of this, once the timer goes off, that's 45 seconds, stop, rest, and then repeat. Oh, 45 seconds, it's killer with the Ronaldinho drill. Every time, every time it gets me.
Okay, so for this drill, I just created a one by one yard box about three yards away from my wall or my log. Um, honestly, this is still the best rebounder I've ever had. I think like the, the round angle of it like forces you, like if you hit it on the ground and it's a good pass, it's gonna just bounce straight back to you, like perfectly. And it really pops off of it, like really fast and strong. So I gotta invest in some logs wherever I have my Become Elite training facility. That's what Mimi was saying. But this whole drill, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do three, maybe five. I'm gonna do a certain amount of one touch passes. And then when I'm ready, all I'm gonna do is either open up, take my touch and just escape the box, either going to the right, to the left or turning and going behind me. I'm just gonna kind of like make the decision on the fly and just make it very natural, whatever I instinctually, which direction I wanna go to. Um, but yeah, just very simple passing first touch throw. actually been out here for I think an hour and a half so it's a little bit longer than I wanted to but I didn't know I was gonna have this log to be able to give me back like good wall passes so I wanted to extend it a little bit longer but I mean really good session happy with it it's a beautiful day outside um, and I think that what I'm doing is actually legal like in this little space because a cop rolled by and he slowed down but he just kept on going so that's good it's good that I'm doing stuff legally um, but anyway that's it for the session good hour and a half session um, all tight technical stuff. Really, really happy with that. And uh, yeah, now I'm just gonna go home, maybe do a little bit of a core workout, do some yoga, cause I'm feeling tight. I've been stretched in a while. And uh, that's it for the, uh, the workouts and stuff for today. So cool, cool beans. Mimi, thank you for filming. Mm -hmm. So I've had these CR7 indoor shoes since December of 2014. I bought them because I was training with a, a professional indoor team in Sacramento. I forgot what it was called. Do you remember what it was called? Sacramento. Sac no, it was not. It was not Sacramento. It was this indoor team at Sacramento. I don't even know if they're still around anymore, but they had a team and uh, I knew the head coach and he was just like, yeah, you can come train with us, you know, stay fit, get some extra work in. Um, before I was going to go on trials um, at the beginning. Oh no, that was even before even before Sacramento Republic. Yeah. So that was like, yeah, 2014. Before I went to Iceland, before I went to any pro trials, I was just training there and uh, getting some reps and staying fit. So I bought these shoes so I could play with the indoor team there. Uh, but yeah, they've lasted all through Germany. I was used them all when I was in Germany up in the old dirt field when I, when I would train at random parking lots and elementary schools. I had these boots. I took them all everywhere with me. And I can't believe they're still, actually they're kind of broken. At the they bottom, smell disgusting. they smell bad. And at the bottom, they, uh, it's, uh, if ever I step into like a wet surface, a wet puddle, it just seeps right through. But they work, I still really like them. And uh, yeah, it still it brings back a lot of memories when I see them every time because it reminds me all the way back to Germany and all that stuff when I was first starting my pro career, so. Pretty cool. I wonder how long I'll continue to have them for. Hopefully not. That <laughs> so before I lose motivation, I'm going to do a little core workout very, very quick. I had a really good upper body workout yesterday that I didn't film, um, but just pull-ups, push-ups, and some dumbbell work. I want to do a leg workout tomorrow after we do like a little fitness test that I'm doing um, with a couple of the guys on the team. But uh, I just want to do a little core workout and then some yoga. So it should be quick, probably like 10, 15 minutes of core. And then I'm going to follow along with my own uh, yoga routine that I put on YouTube. So that should be 30 minutes of yoga. So um, let's get into it. Okay, so for the ab routine, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take my iPhone and I'm going to uh, just go on the stopwatch and I'm going to go for 10 minutes. And I'm just going to do 10 sets of different ab exercises. 
and let's say if it's like 20 sit-ups is the first exercise. I'm going to do the 20 sit-ups and as soon as I'm done, I basically have like for the rest of the minute to rest. So I don't know if that makes sense, but I'm just going to start showing you right now and hopefully it will. So we're going to start and the very first one is going to be toe touches. I'm literally just making these exercises off the top of my head. Um, but let's go. So I'm going to do 25 toe touches. Okay, when I finished right at 25 seconds, so now I'm going to rest for the rest of the minute until I get to 60 seconds, and then I'm going to start the next exercise. The next exercise is going to be, um, I'm going to do 20 uh, side plank hip dips, and then switch over to the other side. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. There we go, now I got 15 seconds of rest until two minutes. Okay, the next one, I'm gonna do 15 V-ups. Three, two, one. Thirty seconds. Now I'm going to do twenty Supermans for the lower back. A lot of people when they do the core workouts, they just focus on the abdominals and then maybe a little bit of obliques, and they completely neglect the uh, the lower back. It's very important to hit the lower back. So here's the Superman exercises. Twenty of them. I got a decent rest now. Okay, the next exercise is gonna be heel touches. I'm gonna to go 20 on each side. So all it is is just one, two, three, four. There we go. Okay, this is the worst one next. I'm just gonna go for a straight minute of a, of a plank, a normal plank. This is the worst one because you don't get any rest. Okay, now we're gonna go straight into 20 Supermans. Again. A bit of a rest now. Okay, now we're gonna go sit-ups, but crossing over, 15 each side. That one was the worst, by far. <laughs> I changed my mind, that was the worst. Okay, now we're just going to go side plank. 30 seconds and then switch to the other side. Okay, and then the very last one and we're just gonna end it with some leg lifts. We're gonna go 20 leg lifts, just straight up. One, two, three. 20, and there we go. 10 minutes, just under 10 minutes. Okay, now I'm just going to do yoga. So finally I'm gonna treat myself now, some nice easy yoga, listening to myself on the TV talk for 30 minutes. It's pretty narcissistic, I think, to just sit here and watch myself on the TV. Um, but I really like that yoga routine. I'm kind of late, and today I want to go through my full mobility stretching slash yoga routine, whatever you want to call it. Delete it off of YouTube, so I'm almost creating this as well just for myself to follow along with my own videos of myself if that's weird to watch myself stretching on TV or whatever, follow along. But uh, that's me. you guys will Okay, there we go. There's uh, 30 minutes of yoga, a fantastic stretching routine. But honestly, it's kind of funny. Sometimes I'll make a YouTube video or I'll do something um, and I'll put it online and I, 
for whatever reason, I, I don't think it's good. Like, I don't think it's edited well. I don't think like, you know, I'm like my harshest critic sometimes. And then I go back and I watch videos that I've made a year ago, two years ago, or like this, this was like a, a month or two ago. I'm like, wow, that was a really well-made video. Like I'm really like proud of myself. So it's kind of funny. Sometimes I think like, oh, my life's boring or my videos are boring or, or whatever. I don't like to make, I don't like this video. But whenever I go back and watch it, um, later i'm always really happy with it so um i hope you guys if you guys have tried out that yoga routine i hope you guys are liking it i really enjoyed that i'm feeling really good now so right now it is 12 20 right in the middle of the day i'm already done with my training session i'm already done with my core workout and i've done yoga so done for the day i'm gonna shower change get all comfortable hang out in quarantine and uh and relax that's what i like i like getting all the hard stuff all the all the stuff that's you know tiring and, and require, requires effort out of the way early semi-early so then I can relax and enjoy the rest of my afternoon and day. Um, yeah, let's go shower. Okay, all showered up, all clean. I'm ready for a, a fun-filled adventure today of just staying at home, working, not doing much, just trying to stay healthy and quarantining myself as best as possible. But right now I want to introduce the sponsor of today's video, healthclasses.com. Healthclasses.com is exactly what it sounds like. It's a new web-based platform with courses from best-selling authors, Nobel Prize laureates, and experts with a focus on health, nutrition, and well-being. I thought this would be absolutely perfect to share with you guys because I'm going to assume the majority of you guys are very interested in improving your nutrition, your health, and your overall well-being so you can perform the best you can on the pitch. Here is healthclasses.com. As you can see, it's sleek, professional, and very easy to use. There are tons of courses to choose from, ranging from a variety of different topics, but two courses that really caught my eye and I thought would be interesting to watch were Change Your Nutrition, Change Everything by Dr. Stephen Maisley and The Key Principles of Mindfulness by Keith Macpherson. I think sitting down and really delving deep into those courses could be incredibly beneficial to my game as I learn more about nutrition and learn about different meditation techniques and stuff like that. Once you find a course that you're interested in, just click on it and you can learn more about the expert and you can start watching videos right away. They are also continually adding new courses to the platform and one course that I'm super interested to dig into is The Myth of Cholesterol by Dr. Johnny Bowden. I think this course would especially pertain to me because I have about four eggs every single morning and even though through my research I found that to be okay and healthy for me, it'd be very interesting to learn and listen to somebody who has a PhD in nutrition talk about the subject. Anyway, that's healthclasses.com. I really, really do believe it can benefit every single one of you watching this right now. So if you guys are interested, check them out by using the link at the top of the description box. And once again, thank you to healthclasses.com for sponsoring this video. And now speaking of nutrition, I'm starving, so let's make some food. So like I said a few videos back where I was kind of like doing intermittent fasting, like a little bit, where I just kind of like delay my meals a little bit later and only really have two meals a day, I'm still doing that just because I'm really burning less calories during this, uh, this quarantine. I mean, my workouts, even though I'm working on a lot, I'm training a lot on my own, I'm going on runs, doing stuff like that, it's still not as rigorous and I'm probably still not burning as many calories as I would if I'm doing full hour and a half team trainings, 11 v 11 out there. Um, it's just not as intense, even though it's close and it's the best I can do right now, I'm still probably not burning as much calories. So again, I'm just eating a little bit less. Before I went to go train, all I had was a banana and a big cup of coffee. So it gave me a little bit you know, a little bit of carbs to, uh, to fuel the workout, but I'm starving now because it's already two o'clock in the afternoon and that's all I've had. So I'm gonna have a kind of a big lunch. I'm gonna go with eggs or the normal veggie sausage patties. And I think I'm going to make a big smoothie as well. Strawberries, bananas, protein powder, all that stuff. So um, I'm gonna whip that up real quick, eat, and then get to work doing Become Elite, editing, all the normal stuff. Okay, we have eggs cooking up. We have veggie sausage patties. Ah all microwaved and heated up. Now here is what I make in my smoothie for the millionth time probably on this YouTube channel, but here it is. Some water, some frozen fruit, a banana. I'm just gonna go with one big heaping scoop of chocolate whey protein powder, and then a big spoonful of peanut butter. All right, and here's lunch. Boom. I'm gonna eat this. Maybe watch like an episode of The Office or something. And then it's just pretty much editing up this video, editing up some Instagram content, and uh, maybe take a little nap. Taking it, taking it pretty slow for the afternoon. Oh, do, should we do the taste test for the smoothie? 10 out of 10. It's gonna make me seal of approval. 
No, she, she didn't like it. Did you do strawberries and peanut butter? I did strawberries, pineapple, <laughs> peanut butter, bananas. That just tastes weird. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's all about... You're not supposed to do peanut butter with those fruit. Why? Whatever. Yeah, weird. I give it like a five. Well, so we'll average it out to a seven and a half. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, so I've just been editing up um, this video that you're watching for the last three four hours. So it's like 6.50 at night, we're about to start cooking. I also have a little Skype session right now. Um, I never ever really talk about this, I honestly don't know why. But on my website, uh, there is an option, there's like something that you can purchase that's like a 30 minute Skype session with me. Just sit down, just talk, if you have any questions specific about your game, your career, anything that you really want to really delve in deep and discuss, it's always there. Uh, it is a kind of expensive, it's like $75 I charge just because um, I'm so busy, so time is like very, uh, it's like a very precious like commodity for me, so, you know, uh, but it's there. Because I, I know people have always emailed me like, is there any way I can do a Skype session? Is there any way I can talk to you? So that's just there if, if you really want it. Uh, so I have a Skype session in 10 minutes with Matt, and uh, we'll just kind of discuss whatever he wants to discuss for about 30 minutes, and hopefully I can really help him out and uh, answer any questions that he has for me. And uh, keep me updated, keep me updated with how you do um, the trials for your, uh, tryouts for your high school team and making a starting position for your club team and everything. I'm curious. All right, thank you. All right, Matt, enjoy, uh, enjoy your night and stay safe during this time, okay? Yeah, all right, you too. All right, bro, see ya. I have no idea what I made. <laughs> <laughs> it looks really good though. Oh, I I don't know, because there's a lot of things going on. Okay, so I finished up the uh, the Skype call with Matt. It went really, really well. Ended up talking for like 45, 50 minutes. Um, good kid, so all the best, Matt. Uh, anyway, Mimi cooked up this atrocity. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what, what do you call it? What is it called? It's it's more like a Pad Thai noodle, okay, so but without little... the actual Pad Thai noodles. Yeah, it's kind of like, yeah, it's Pad Thai pretty much. Welcome. To the repair shop. Just found the okay, 10:15 at night. Just finished watching um, the repair shop. <laughs> I love that show. Mimi and I both love that show so much. It's such very. No, no, no. You love it too. It's just very, very wholesome, and it's also very cool to see like somebody who's an expert at their field of like restoring or I don't even know how to explain. It. Like a craftsman, just work. It is. Uh, it's pretty cool. Anyway, about to go to bed. Plan for tomorrow is pretty much the same exact thing, and just trying to stay sharp trying to stay fit, trying to stay strong, and uh, just being prepared for whenever the season starts back up again, which honestly, I, I don't think it's gonna be any time in the near future, but hopefully it's in the mid future. <laughs> All right guys, I'll see you in the next video. If you guys like this video, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right guys, peace.